face touch. You know, Kate, this wasn't exactly what I pictured when I let you work out here. Probably should have. Don't pretend to be such a prude, Mason. I heard you talking about your summer sausage. I was looking at pictures of puppies for the jingle. Well, we never know when the urge will strike, do we? For instance, I don't know if it's the intense heat or my monstrous need to use the bathroom, but I'm going to tell you a secret. It's really not necessary, Kate. I have sex omnia. Oh, my God. Sometimes when I'm sleeping, I become romantic. This is a very popular bunk mate at Girl Scout camp. Look, could you just hurry up and finish the video before Jennifer gets back from the hardware store and gets the wrong idea? Oh, God. I know what would cheer you up. Don't say That's ball cock. Right. <laughs> I just want some nachos. I mean, is that really too much to ask? Well, if we could have broken through the skin on the cheese. No, that would have been gross. We forgot to get drinks for Mason, Kate, and Jennifer. If we come back empty handed, we'll never hear the end of it. They should have come with us. Remember that time you went to Burger King and forgot to bring back one of those paper crowns? Hmm? Do you remember all the trauma that caused? All the crying and screaming and name calling? That was you. Yeah. I'm saying I know what it's like to be forgotten. I'll be right back. Do you have any cash? I need like a buck. I'm out. So what are we gonna do? I could sell my body on the corner. No, we need the dollar today. Go ask that guy for a dollar. I'm not begging for money. Oh, it's not begging. He won't care. It'll be fine. Go ahead, ask him. No! Oh. Oh. Excuse me, sir. I don't mean to bother you, but um, you seem to be a little short on cash. We're not weird homeless people or anything. Oh. Uh, would you by any chance happen to have a spare dollar? Oh, sure. Here you go. Oh. Thanks a lot. No problem. You obviously need it more than I do. Would it kill you to dress nicely every once in a while? I think I sweat off at least 20 pounds. Mason, honey, would you be a sweetheart and get me a glass of water? Use your hair. Would you get me a glass of water? This heat is making me dizzy and I'd hate to pass out before I get to the part where I take off my... Okay, hey, hey, come on. That's a girl. That's it. That's, that's whoa, what's out? Oh. Uh, Kate? Oh, Kate? Oh, yeah, yeah. Kate? Hey, Mason, I was looking at the. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah! One jump! <laughs> you, you said I couldn't do it, Kate. <laughs> you owe me five bucks, Kate. Yeah! If you found enough money in your pocket for those drinks, we really should not have spent that man's dollar on this. Oh, it's fine. Still don't know why you made me buy it. Fair similitude. Mm. That man didn't need that dollar anyway. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Oh. You made me bum a dollar off a homeless guy. For a sucker. We don't know that he's homeless. He could be some kind of weird aluminum can hobbyist. A very tired aluminum can hobbyist. We have to give him his dollar back. How? We spent it. We have to tell him. Yeah, you're right. We don't want him to feel too good about his charity. He should really know that you squandered his generosity to selfishly buy yourself a stupid day-long sucker. You made me buy it. What are you doing? I'm just making sure I didn't injure you when I put that gun to your head. Damn you! Damn you! Damn you, swirly goodness. 
So what are we gonna do now? He's blocking the shortcut home. So we'll take the long way. It's a three mile walk. So? Past the haunted house. For the last time, that house is not haunted. Sure, it's creepy. And every time I walk past it, I could swear someone is whispering my name. But, <sighs> oh fine, we'll just wait him out. He can't stay there forever. Then he's homeless, where's he gonna go? I'm sure there's a library bathroom waiting for him somewhere. 